Welcome back to Next 18. I'm Rado Meyer. And I'm Stephanie Wong. Sam O'Keefe, head of Google Cloud for Startups, joins us now to help recap the developer keynote made here together. Thanks so much for being here, Sam. Thanks for having me. So I kind of want to start by talking about all of the cool live demos that we saw during the keynote today. Um, we had everything from Kubernetes, Firebase, automated canary analysis. Can you tell us which one was one of your favorites? Yeah, well, first I want to pause and say, it's great that we had live demos, right? This is the developer keynote. We wanted to really make this feel more like a meetup than you're in this auditorium with 6,000 other people, which of course we were. Um, so I'm just really thrilled that, that we brought that element in. Um, for me, uh, getting to see Kelsey Hightower do a demo was amazing. He is so well known in the Kubernetes community, but one of the things I really liked that he worked Istio into his demo. Uh, earlier this week, we announced Istio 1.0. It's been around for a while. It's growing really uh, rapidly, but a lot of the developers in the audience may not have been hands-on yet. So having Kelsey show them how simple that was to integrate, to customize, hopefully makes it a little accessible and people start to try it out. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the cool demos that we saw was the, uh, was the build demo. Yes. Um, how do you think that's going to impact developers uh, in their daily work you know, on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, hopefully in a big way. Melody uh, talked a lot about DevOps and Cloud Build kind of completes the DevOps triumvirate as I like to think about it, how Google thinks about it, which is um, your cloud source repos, stack driver, and now we have Cloud Build. And a lot of our users were already doing some type of CI, CD solution, um, usually another service provider. But it just makes a lot of sense for Google to offer this. It's a part of their day-to-day -day work. And so hopefully, it's all about reducing developer toil. That's our real goal. So hopefully, it accomplishes that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the theme that we keep hearing about is kind of integrating our technology into what our users are already using and kind of bringing the cloud to them. Yeah. And it's another topic that I hear a lot about during this keynote is machine learning. Yep. That seems to be a very huge topic in a lot of the talks here. Can you tell us a bit about what keynote um, main takeaway for ML stood out to you? Yeah, well, I think you hit it right on the head. I mean, Cloud Build, we didn't even talk about it. It, it integrates with GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, right? It's meeting the developers where they are. So ML AI is no different. You heard Fei-Fei Lee talks a lot about democratizing AI. And what we're offering at Cloud is really a suite of products depending on what your needs are, from the AI APIs to auto ML to managed machine learning engine to actually just TensorFlow and you can take it and do whatever you want. So we're trying to give our developers that flexibility to meet their needs and I think that's, that's great. Hopefully it makes it accessible, inclusive. We want everyone to be able to use this technology. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally. And now I know you're particularly passionate about startups. We, yeah. we saw a couple of them. <laughs> we saw a couple of them on stage uh, this morning. Uh, what are some other startups which we didn't get a chance to see that you're particularly excited about? Yeah, there are a lot. We actually here at Next, we have a whole separate kind of lounge where we have content every single day with different CTOs and founders sharing how they're building on GCP. Um, you also saw in Adam's opening video a bunch of startups doing amazing things. One of my favorites is Portal Telemedicina based out of Brazil. They're offering uh, remote telemedicine um, and using the cloud to do that. Uh, healthcare seems to be a big theme in startups and ML. So in our lounge, we had uh, Picnic Health and Cardiogram, both that are structuring data using machine learning and then trying to do predictive diagnostics. Uh, so that's just a couple. I could go on, but I don't know how much time we have. <laughs> no, thank you for, for sharing those. Yeah. And, and thank you so much for your time this morning. It's, it's been a real pleasure. Absolutely. Thanks thank for having you. me and thanks for watching. Of course. <laughs> thank you.